ही सर बेटे जंगल का राजा कौन है तुम्हारे कहा लायन तुम्हारे पास एक्टर कौन है तुम्हारे कहा अमिताभ बच्चन तो उन्होंने कहा फिर अमिताभ बच्चन जो लायन है उसको घास फूस मत दो वीगन डिशेस मत देना उसको दो मटन खाने के लिए वो मांस खाता है तो मेरे डायलॉग जो हैं वो मांस वाले हैं रिश्ते में तो हम सब के बाप होते हैं नाम है शहनशाह शहनशाह की जो कास्टिंग हुई थी मैंने कहीं पढ़ा था कि अमित जी वॉज नॉट देयर इन द फिल्म इनिशियली इट वॉज जैकी श्रॉफ कितना सच्चा ही है इसके पीछे रेडियो क्या आवाज है फर्स्टली रोहिणी थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच एंड एंटायर टीम ऑफ रेडियो नशा फॉर मेकिंग दिस है डे वॉर अ डे तीनू सर इट्स एन ऑनर सिटिंग बिसाइड यू मोर देन योर ऑनर इज माई ऑनर थैंक यू थैंक यू इट्स अ प्लेजर तो सर फिल्मों की बात जब भी करते हैं हम तो अक्सर ये बातें होती यू नो देर आर दीज मूवीज जिसके बारे में लोग कहेंगे ये क्लासिक फिल्म थी ये ऐसी फिल्म थी वैसी फिल्म थी But then we don't talk about those movies which we love, which we watch it. हम बार बार देखते हैं जो ब्लॉक बस्टर हिट्स होती है और आज हम जो शुरुआत करेंगे जिस फिल्म से उसके इस साल 35 फाइव ईयर्स कम्प्लीट हो रहे हैं you know? और मैं उस फिल्म को एक फिल्म के साथ कंपेयर करूँगा एंड दैट इज द बिकॉज ऑफ द ईगरनेस द एंटायर द यू फोर या रिलेटेड टू दैट फिल्म एंड दैट इज बाहुबली टू एंड द सिंपल रीजन बिकॉज इसके पहले इस तरह की कोई भी फिल्म नहीं आई थी जब से वो फिल्म बनने लगी इट वॉज इन न्यूज एक साल दो साल पीपल वेल बीन आस्किंग ऑल द सिनेमा गोय मतलब हॉल्स में कि ये पिक्चर कब आ रही है वीडियो कैसेट पार्लर पर जाके लोग पूछते थे ये पिक्चर कब आ रही है तीनों आनंद सर से जितने भी इंटरव्यूज होते थे उसमें पूछा जाता था ये पिक्चर कब आ रही है अमिताभ बच्चन सर से पूछा जाता था ये पिक्चर कब आ रही है और अचानक से ये फिल्म रिलीज डे के पहले आ जाती है breaks all the box office records and that's none other than shensha thank you divya and uh, roini roini to ko to main pehle bhi mila hu ji aur uh, thank you for introducing me to this uh, platform yes i know um, shensha has been very iconic uh let me tell you a small incident with my father my father was a writer of shensha and kalya and uh, whenever he used to write his dialogues and narrate it to me in the night ki ye tumhara scene kal shoot karne wala hai so i always used to tell him that dad these dialogues are urdu urdu heavy language we have never learned that language we are college going uh, you know this is going to cater to all kinds of all class of people especially students and they have never studied urdu and how are they going to understand the flowery language that you use so he had a very good answer for me he said bete jungle ka raja kaun hai tumhare ka lion tumhare pas actor kaun hai mere ka amitabh bachchan to na ka fir amitabh bachchan jo lion hai usko ghas phoos mat do vegan dishes mat dena usko do mutton khane ke liye वो मांस खाता है तो मेरे डायलॉग्स जो हैं वो मांस वाले हैं रिश्ते में तो हम सब के बाप होते हैं नाम है शहनशाह डैड ने कहा बेटा मैं बहुत एक्टरों के साथ में काम कर चुका हूं कि डायलॉग लिख चुका हूं लेकिन ये डायलॉग किसी के मुंह से अच्छा नहीं लगेगा <laughs> ये सिर्फ अमिताभ बच्चन जब कहेगा तो दिस विल बिकम दी डायलॉग and true enough many years later his name beca- became associated with shansha today he is not known as avitab bachchan he is known as shansha that was my father then the other line he wrote was very very interesting which even today people standing in long queues they narrate this line because if you break the queue queue and you come in front and you usko tokte hain aap ke aap line mein nahi hai इसे हम जहाँ लाइन पे हम जहाँ खड़े हो जाते हैं लाइन वहीं से शुरू होती सो दीज आर टू आइकॉनिक डायलॉग्स एसोसिएटेड विद अमिताभ विद माई फादर एंड अमिताभ टिल टूडे 
whenever we have a conversation, he always says, Tinu, 35, 35 years? Yes, 35 years. 35 years ago, koi keh sakta tha ki ye dialogue aaj bhi bole jayenge. So that was Shahin Shah. So sir, let's start from the start. Shahin Shah ki jo casting huye thi. I had read that Amit Ji was not there in the film initially. It was Jackie Shroff. How true is this behind it? Not true. Not true. You see, when we signed Amitabh, uh, and we were going off to, going to, I think, Ooty, via Bangalore, and Amitabh was already shooting in Mysore, and he got injured there. He had asked me to come one day before the shooting schedule, and my unit was all ready with their tickets, with, with their uh, advances paid for a 10-day shooting schedule in Uti. But Amitabh calling me to Mysore and then saying that you come one day early, I hope everything is all right. When I reached Mysore, in Mysore I was told by the Manmohan Desai unit that he's got injured and he's been taken to Bangalore for a checkup. He's asked you to come to Bangalore. So now I have to make my way back to Bangalore. <laughs> but this time I was on tenter hooks. Accident, how ill is he? Is he going to be well for my schedule? My schedule was more important than <laughs> <laughs> So honest. So I reached there and I was told to wait in the hotel because Amitabh was expected to come to the hotel. I kept waiting and I went to the uh, washroom about three, four times. That's my weakness. Uh, or anything that troubles me, I rushed to the washroom. And then finally when he arrived, uh, he, arrived he knew the kind of uh, jittery person I was. I said, you know, just sit down, please. Before you fall, I've got bad news for you. So I said, what is it? He says, cancel your schedule. What I've been told is, I've got something called myasthenia gravis. I'd never heard of this myasthenia gravis. So he says it's a disease of the, of the muscles. And during the shoot, when I was taking a sip of water, it got stuck in my throat. Because the message, message to my brains did not go that you have to swallow it. So it got stuck. And I nearly died suffocating on it. I've been asked to go to Bombay. I've been asked to go for a complete checkup and complete rest. And the doctors have warned me that I might never be able to work again. I collapsed, I think. <laughs> he had to ask for an ambulance because my entire unit was ready to come. So much money had been spent. Anyway, that is fate. And I came to Bombay, kept standing outside Breach Candy Hospital. And finally, on Sunday, Mr. Khalid Muhammad wrote that he had a meeting with Amitabh. And Amitabh had said that, sorry, I have to give up on acting. So, Shayan Shah was dropped. With thousands and lakhs of rupees already spent on the unit, on the, on the air tickets, on everything and then came the creditors knocking on my door asking for their money back and you know millions at that time for me was an impossible amount to return and that's when our hunt for an actor who would replace Amitabh of course there was no replacement <laughs> uh, you, when you when you name uh, Jackie Shroff don't Forget about Jitender also. He went to Jitender also. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> From where to where? But we had to do something. We had to make sure and sure. We got tired because it took us one year. First, Jackie said, yeah, sure. He enjoyed the publicity that he replaces Amitabh Bachchan in Shah and Shah. He signed three, four, five more films because of that. <laughs> Jitender sort of said that, um, you know, I don't think I can fit into Amitabh Bachchan's shoes. 
Now, of course, I mean, that was a great help, but no help to us because <laughs> <laughs> we were still at zero. One year of poverty, I'll say, really, literally, I had started to make ad films, commercials, and I had been contacted by Bhargava Saab in, uh, in Gurgaon. He was starting a new factory. Uh, it's a merger between the Maruti and Suzuki. So I went for that. I was given 10 films. And during that, those, the shooting, I was given another film where a gypsy was specially flown, flown from Japan and was given to me to make a commercial. He was so impressed with me. Now, on, one day on my way back from uh, the shoot at Gurgaon, I passed by a road and I had met Amitabh Bachchan somewhere here only. So I started looking for their house at Gulmohar in Delhi. And I stopped outside their house. There was a guard, obviously, security. And I asked about Amitabh and he said, I am not here yet. I am in Delhi. He is a small guy. He is not a big guy. I mean, that is... Bunty was there. Bunty Bachchan. Bunty greeted me the way he always greeted me. He embraced me. I said, how are you, Tino? I said, you are asking me this. This is what I've gone through since the last one year. Just because Amitabh announced in a Sunday paper that he was not going to do any more films. Shainsha, he had not started, so the question didn't arise. I said, do you know what that meant for me? People banging on my doors asking for their money back. And you say that Shansha was not started. Now these, I can give you an account of the money spent. He said, no, 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 don't do that. I'm really sorry. Now this is, you know, being a gentleman and coming from a great family. And he said, Tinu, let me assure you, when Da comes back from his treatment abroad, he will finish the films that are lying unfinished. There were two films. And if he is able to finish those two films, then I promise you, Da will do your Shansha. head office se aapke paas permission mil gayi thi. Wow. Mil gayi thi. And, and you know, that was what was great, that a man who had come down totally a cripple, he suddenly found wings to fly. And that is when I came back into Shansha. Amitabh Bachchan came back into Shansha. Wow. <laughs> So, sir, this concept, tha, jo, you know, we have seen it before, vigilante type of character that you have made, it, the look, today we also take that look. I mean, if there is any show of show, hota hai, kuch bhi hota hai, people will wear that black jacket and that entire steel armor and that pura salt and pepper look and pull thing. ये इसके पीछे की कहानी बताइए सर कैसे वो फाइनलाइज हुआ था बिकॉज़ उसके पहले देयर इज नो रेफरेंस पॉइंट टू दैट यू नो उसके पहले अगर हमने कुछ भी सुपर हीरो अ वेरी फ्रैंक रेफरेंस पॉइंट व्हेन आई वाज प्लानिंग द स्टोरी ऑफ शानशाह जया हैड गिवन मी अ हिंट जया हैड सेड दैट माइंड यू वी गेव अ टाइटल ऑफ स्टोरी आइडिया बाय जया बचन ऑफ कोर्स बट दैट वाज नॉट ट्रू दैट वाज नॉट ट्रू ओह that there were reasons, personal reasons, why I gave that name as a title. Now, it could get me into trouble, it could get uh, Jaya into trouble, it could get a lot of people into trouble because of that. So let's not go into that. But she has said, Tino, come with something interesting that Amitabh has not done. Something that will give him a, you know, once he comes back as Shan Shah, he should look different, he should uh, behave differently. And that's what set me thinking. Those days we were great uh, admirers of, sh of uh, Superman. Mm. So Superman had two characters. He plays a coward in the morning, Clark Kent. <laughs> Clark Kent. He's a, he's a, he's a uh, press guy. Sorry, I, I didn't mean anything against you people. <laughs> <laughs> he's a coward. But in the evening, he changes his cape, he changes his costume and he becomes Superman. Now my father and I had great arguments about my story. My father said, tell me one simple thing, which maybe a lot of people had a question in the mind. 
But my father being the writer, he wanted clarity in his mind. He said, this character who's playing a coward, he's in a police station. He wears his cap, ulta. He, he disrespects his uniform. मुझे एक बात बताओ उसको शहंशाह बनने की क्या जरूरत है अगर वो पुलिस ऑफिसर इतना इतना स्ट्रांग है ही कैन वाइप आउट 10 15 क्रिमिनल्स एट वन गो व्हाई डज ही हैव टू ड्रेस अप एज सुपरमैन वेरी वैलिड क्वेश्चन आई मीन दैट माय एंटायर स्टोरी वाज डिपेंडिंग ऑन माय आंसर सो आई सेड डैड हैव यू बीन टू अ पुलिस स्टेशन आई हैव बीन यू हैव अनफॉर्चूनेटली they act very tough but ultimately they are answerable to their superiors who are their superiors the station in charge the politician the mla the guy on top of the mla so he cannot perform he wants to perform he wants to catch criminals he wants to put them behind bars but he is unable to so what does he do he removes that guard of being a comedian in the police station and he becomes shansha because he is not answerable to anybody he is not answerable to a judge he is not answerable to his superior superior he is the superior being so that is why he becomes shansha i said all right i agree i understand what you have in mind so we'll have to design the story and the screenplay and and the dialogue especially mm. in that way Jee. Where Amitabh in his opening scene says, in that tabela scene, that I am the law, I am the policeman, I am the judge. Sir, in Hindi, me ho jaye. Oh, dialogue. Arey baap re. Me khud apna kanun banata hu. Me khud kanun torta hu. मैं खुद सजा देता हूं और सूली पे भी मैं चढ़ाता हूं दैट्स इज रूप दैट्स इज रूप ऑन इज यू नो दिव्य आई एम नॉट यूज टू टॉकिंग सो मच आई विश यू टॉक एंड आई वुड लिसन सर आज की महफिल तो आपकी है सर तो सर कॉस्ट्यूम एवरी एवरी थिंग दैट यू गोइंग टू आस्क मी हैज अ स्टोरी बिहाइंड इट एंड आई होप यू पीपल आर नॉट बोर्ड बिकॉज You know, when when we were going through this uh, phase of Shansha having been dropped, I had designed a costume personally uh, with uh, the Kachins guy. Kachins was Amitabh's uh, designer, and we had designed a costume in black, black leather, black pants, black shoes, black uh, boots, and. I had added a rope round his shoulder, but then that was dropped. So what Kachins did was he cheated on me. <laughs> he gave he gave that costume to Jitender, and if you see that film of his, he's wearing the same yeah. costume well, with the rope. So I was, very, I was angry. I was disappointed. I was hurt. that my costume designed with akbar he's gone and give it to given it to jitender just because he designs amitabh's clothes and jitender's clothes jitender i mean amitabh has retired now he's got jitender to give the, the shansha costume finally when amitabh bachan came back and he said you know uh, what about the uh, costume of shansha i said amit uh, i have dropped akbar I'll see to it that he never designs any of my costumes, any film of mine. So he said, "Why? What happened?" So I told him, "When you were away, this was the costume he gave to Jitender. How can I work with him? I know he knows your body design and body uh, measurements and whatever. I will not go to him." He said, "Okay, then where, where will you go?" I said, "Bada Sab." He said, "Who's Bada Sab?" I said, "Kishore Bajaj." he does a lot of designing for cricketers and i like him i like his style and i also like his spirit 
He said, okay, let me see the new costume that you're designing. So I went to Kishore Bajaj now. Now started this entire cycle again. We sat down. We went through hundreds of magazines, going through uh, um, clothes. And finally, we landed up on an ad by a French company who designed fencers clothes, sword fencing. And there was this ad of this arm, right, starting from the shoulder to the wrist. And that was fascinating. So I said, uh, do you think you can design this? He says, yeah, it'll take a lot of time, effort, a lot of money. I said, don't worry about that. Just give me a, a design by which Amitabh Bachchan, when he wears it, he should fall down. <laughs> you should be so impressed with it because, Kishore, you're working with him the first time. The first costume should just stun him. He said, okay, give me a month. The poor guy on his scooter used to go to Muhammad Ali Road and get uh, these uh, ingots, steel ingots, woven together and made, a, made into an arm. So when he got ready with the arm, Amitabh Bachchan was in Madras, shooting for uh, Punda Chandra Rao. So I rang him up, I said, your costume is ready. He said, bring it to Madras. I said, I did expense. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we went to Madras, Kishore and myself. He packed up and he said, come on, let's go to my hotel. So Kishore brought in the bag with the costume, bloody heavy, very, very heavy. And we brought it onto his bed. I said, what? He just waited it. <laughs> <laughs> he said, this is what I'm going to wear during my fights. I said, we'll d anyway, let's, let's see you wear it. So we left the room, Kishore and I, and we came back after about 10 minutes. I knocked on his door because 10 minutes wearing a costume, simple jacket, simple trousers. I said, come in. So there was a wall-to-wall -wall mi mirror. And you're standing there, <laughs> that was a real sight. He, he was standing in different, different positions, looking at himself, then doing this, then doing that. He was very, very impressed. He said, okay, done. This is the final bit. So there went Mr. Jitendar. <laughs> and there went Mr. Mr. Akbar from our lives. Yeah, that was Shahin Shah costume. So, sir, there was a film called Who Won, Who Won. In that film, Amit Ji had a special appearance. This was the first time, maybe it will happen, and the last time it will happen, that the child is a child, and he asks him, where are you going? I am going to shoot for the shooting of the Shain Shah film. And when he gets down, you are waiting with the whole unit. And he gets down, and he gets down, and he says, let's go, Tino, shot ready, let's go. So, this was one thing. The other time, there was a video magazine. I will not promote it out here. They are not paying us. Okay, Lehre Naam Ke Video... If they are not paying you, they pay me. I am going to pay you. Let's go. Lehre Magazine launched a video. Video Magazine for the first time. And in all of the ads, there was only and only Shain Shah's poster. And I remember when we came to it, there was no interview of Amit Ji. It was only a trailer. That was the way the trailer was launched first time. इतना यूफोरिया कभी कोई फिल्म के लिए देखा नहीं गया था सर एंड करेक्ट मी इफ आई एम रॉन्ग फिल्म की डिमांड इतनी ज़्यादा थी कि फिल्म को एक दिन पहले रिलीज़ किया गया था प्लीज कुछ बताइए उस पूरे ऑरा के बारे में क्योंकि ये कभी ऐसा नहीं हुआ है मैं अपना पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस बोल सकता हूँ मैं और कुछ द so we said, let's go and see, it's on Friday, it's on Monday, how is it? There are some people who are coming in the theater. So we were passing by Satyam Cinema. Satyam is inside, in the gully. There is a passport office outside. So we saw there, at the time of 10 o'clock, there were three rows of people, queues, and going towards their left. So I told my friends, what do you think here? फ्री पासपोर्ट दिए जा रहे हैं, फ्री वीजा दिए जा रहे हैं, क्या दिया जा रहा है यहाँ पे यार? कभी हमने ऐसा रश नहीं देखा। 
तो इसे लेट्स फॉलो द क्यूज द क्यूज मैंने ऐसे 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 से एग्जैक्ट बना हुआ फाइनली वी वेंट आउटसाइड सत्यम शिवम सुंदरम थिएटर्स और वहाँ पे हमने देखा कि ऑल द इंटायर क्यू वॉज फॉर शाइन शाह इट वॉज अनबिलीवेबल फॉर मे पहली बार हमने को, कोई रश ऐसा देखा था वॉज इन मुगल आजम सेकेंड टाइम वी वॉज सींग इट ओनली इन शाइन शाह तो मैं घबरा के बैठ गया मैंने कहा यार मर गए ये पूरा ऑडियो पूरी ऑडियंस ये सोच रही है कि अमिताभ बच्चन स्क्रीन फाड़ के बाहर निकलेगा सो दैट वॉज माई एक्सपीरियंस अबाउट शहन शाह यू फोर या एंड देखिए एक पूरा उनका टाइम टाइम वीडियो दे हेड बॉथ द राइट्स वीडियो राइट्स एंड ये पहली बार हुआ था इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ इंडियन सिनेमा कि एक फिल्म का कैसेट दो कैसेट्स में भेजा गया गया सो दैट वॉज अगेन अनबिलीवेबल और मैंने कहा कोई खरीदेगा नहीं पांच सौ रुपए का कौन खरीदने वाला है एंड भी यू नो टाइम वीडियो उस पर खड़ा हो गया था ओनली ऑन शाह शाह वीडियो कैसेट सेल्स बहुत बड़ी बात है एंड वन डे बिफोर रिलीज एक दिन डेट के पहले रिलीज हो गई थी I think that was a ploy uh, to go against uh, people who had collected outside the theaters to say we'll burn the theaters. Amitabh Bachchan ki film nahi dekhne denge. To wahan pe ye ek baat zaroor hui thi. Kya dekhte hain na kitne log ye protest karte hain aur kitne ye protesters jaake khud dekhenge picture first day for show. Aur yahi hua tha. Yahi hua tha. Ultimately wo first day ka jo aap keh rahe wo yahi tha to test the strength of amitabh bachchan's fans against and amitabh bachchan's film coming after so long and this kind of a get up this kind of a setup my god it is radio nasha